All right, there we go. Athens versus Sparta. So let's go ahead and get that open, please. If you have not already, I'm going to share my screen. Like I said, we have one last thing to do, and then those of you online, I maybe finish up some missing work, but you'll be free for Thanksgiving break. Although I would suggest for everybody, if you're behind on work, that you spend a little bit of time over Thanksgiving break getting caught up on it. Because I do have parent-teacher conferences next week, and I have no issue telling your parents they aren't doing their work. They're going to fail. I can hold them back. So you might want to do your work. I'm just saying. Now. Yeah. Okay, so we need to do, yes. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what order I say those three things. They're probably not going to like any of them, so. Go down to social studies and open up our Athens versus Sparta. We need the Google Slides open to type on and the PDF so we can read the information. Okay. So go ahead and open up the PDF as well as the Google Slides. I'm going to zoom in on both. Okay, over the past few days, so on Friday we did the first slide where we talked about the government and how the government was structured. Yesterday, we talked about the values, so the things that they thought were important in their society um, in Athens and Sparta. And then yesterday we also talked about their economies, so money, how they made money as a city, how they traded things and all of that stuff. And then today, the last one we're going to talk about uh, is women and slaves and how they treated them. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see this. In on the Athens side, we are going to explain how Athens treated their women and slaves. This is 100, zoomed in on 100. And then for Sparta, again, we are going to explain how Sparta treated their women and slaves. Based off of the information we already know. How do you think Athens will treat their women and slaves? Bad? I, I don't think bad. Athens was... No. Yeah. So Athens, first of all, was founded, founded, right, and named after Athena, who is a goddess, a woman, so they probably treat them a little bit better. What about Sparta? What do we know about Sparta? Yeah, probably not great. They're kind of like the meaner ones, it seems, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go over, and I'm going to read the Athens part first. So, oh, that's the government. Hold up. Let me go down to the right page. Okay, here we go. Women and slaves. This is the last one we're doing. We need to answer the two questions for Athens, and then, or, yeah, one question for Athens, one question for Sparta. Yes. Okay. So it says, Welcome back. I sure enjoy speaking with you and helping you become enlightened about the life in Athens. I bet you're starting to see that Athens' way of life is clearly superior to that of the horrid Spartans. So you want to hear about our non-citizens? Well, don't let this area of civilization shock you. After all, most civilizations around the world have people who aren't considered citizens. Here in Athens, we have two groups of people who don't qualify for citizenship. Women and slaves. I hate to say it, but women in Athens are treated much differently to men. Take my wife, for example. She is not allowed to inherit property when I die, nor is she allowed to own property. She's never allowed in the assembly, which is part of the government, and she certainly isn't allowed to vote. This is okay, right? Oh, and there are a few other jobs that only are open to women here in Athens. Some women, but only the important ones are allowed to be a priestess in the temple. A priestess is a female priest. What else are women restricted from, you ask? Well, don't get mad at me because I don't make the rules, but women aren't allowed to leave their homes without a male companion. Crazy, right? So they can't leave their house unless a boy is with them. What? All right, somehow I don't think they're trying to keep them safe. Women are more than capable of keeping track of themselves. Now, um, we also have slaves here in Athens, but we treat them very, very well. Slaves do most of our farming work since men are often engaged in educational or political matters. 
but they can also do household work and can serve as a clerk in an office. But these jobs are only for the lucky ones. What happens to the unlucky ones? They work underground in the silver mines. So let's start with women, okay? And talk about how women were treated in Athens. Let's just list some and I would like you guys to write them as complete sentences later. How were women treated? Did they? Well, they didn't make them do work. Okay. Yep, but also, I'm going to need you guys to start raising some hands because when you guys all talk at once, nobody says anything that I can understand. So, yeah. So, Maddie, what do you got? Okay, not allowed to leave the house without a man. Both will say male. Okay, they couldn't leave the house without a man. What else? Okay, go back to this uh, story or the article. Okay, only important women could be priestess. Okay, only important women could be priestesses. What else do we know about women? They couldn't vote. Couldn't vote. So the assembly was the government. So they couldn't be in the assembly. Anything else? I think that's a pretty good amount of stuff. So we'll stick with that. Um, I'm going to give you, let's say, Two minutes to just um, make that into some clean, complete sentences, and then we'll talk about the slaves there. I also feel like we could have figured that one out, but yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those ones typed. Okay, so go ahead and get those typed out, please. Complete sentences as well. Um, yeah, we're going to write some of those right now. So, Let's look at the slaves. What? How were slaves treated then? Yeah. They did farm work. Alex. Yep. What type of mines? The unlucky slaves worked where I worked in the. What type of mines though? Silver mines. Good luck with that. Um, what else do we know about the slaves? Anything else? Oh, some of them did housework instead, yep. Housework or a clerk at a store or a rest or um, office. So there's some stuff about the slaves as well. So I'll give you another couple of minutes. Huh? Uh, another couple of minutes to write a um, complete sentences about that. Is there a 
I mean, there were other places to live than Athens and Sparta, yes. But you don't know how, what those ones were like, right? Does not say. Could have been. I don't think any of these ancient civilizations would be that great to live in. I'm not going to lie. As a woman, you're not going to get much out of an ancient civilization. Even nowadays, you don't get much as a woman. So, great. I know. Yep. I have a lot of opinions on women not being treated fairly in the world, but we're not going to go into that. We can do that another time. Okay, we'll do about two more minutes and then we'll look at the Sparta one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Sparta one and read through that one, and then we'll do the same thing for women and slaves. So, in Sparta, let's see how the women and slaves are treated. It says, aren't you a little shocked to hear how the Athenians treat their women? They talk about how superior they are with their art and education, but they don't even let women leave the house alone. Please, in Sparta, women are equal to men. Women can own property and are even allowed to speak to their husband's friends, something that is forbidden in Athens. Do you want to know something really interesting? Say a Spartan man is away for, um, for, at war for a long time. Do you know what his wife could do? She could marry someone else while he's away at war. I think it's fair to say that we treat women much better than Athens. What about slaves, you ask? Well, yes, we have slaves, but we don't call them slaves. We call them helots. Earlier, I said that we treat our helots very well, but some say that we're very mean to them. Put yourself, put yourself in our shoes for a second. How would you treat the people that you just conquered? We want to be nice to them, but many people are afraid that they will revolt, so we have to keep them in line. In fact, one time we told the helots to round up their best fighters. We told them that if these fighters fought for Sparta, then all the helots would go free. Do you know what we did? We killed all of them. Good luck leading a revolt against us without all your best men. Some call this a trick, but we call it genius. Helots are allowed to marry. In fact, we encourage it. Helots who marry and have children can uh, mean there's more helots to take care of Sparta. We let helots sell their crops and even buy their own freedom. See, we aren't all bad. All right. Okay, focus, please. Let's talk about women first. How are the women treated in Sparta? Right up. Raise your hand. That was not raising your hand. Maddie. Thank you. They were equal to men. Okay, what, so because they're equal to men, what are some of the things that they could do? Own property. Okay, what else? Raise your hand. Let me know something else they could do. Anything else? What about online? Anything? Anybody else have anything that the women could do? They could marry. You're like double Mary. Yeah. Marry another man. They can leave without having a man. 
Yeah, they can walk free, right? Without a man. Okay. I think that's pretty good for the women. So I'll give you a minute or two to uh, type out a few sentences about the women. It's one word. Because it's one word, so it's going to mark it wrong if it's not written like that. Okay. Now let's talk about the slaves. How did they treat their slaves? First of all, they called them helots. They didn't even call them slaves. Well, how did they treat them? Oh, okay. Did they treat them nice? Yes. What? Are you kidding? They literally rounded up the men and killed all of them. That is not nice. Okay. Mari. So other than rounding up their men and killing them so that they couldn't get their freedom, they were nice to them? Mm -hmm. I guess so. Okay, so kind of nice. Kind of nice. They could earn their freedom, right? Would, were they able to buy and sell things? They could sell things, right? I don't know if they could buy things. They can earn their freedom. That's what I wrote. They can earn freedom. Down? Um, they were able to get married and stuff. They could get married. No. And I'm going to say they also killed a lot of them. To keep them from revolting. So there's the stuff about slaves. You guys can write those into complete sentences. You don't have to write everything, but complete sentences. And then on the bottom, you guys know the drill. Which one would you rather live in? And let's do that in three to five sentences. Based off of this slide, not any of the other ones. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to finish this up and do the question underneath. After those five minutes, you guys will be free to go. So, five minutes working on this, please. Finishing up this part of the stuff. Okay, there you go. So, about five minutes. Once those five minutes are up, we can get this turned in. And uh, those of you that are online, you'll be able to head out. Um, speaking of, we do not have school tomorrow. 